So we've seen a lot about Black Ops 6 lately, from the massive leaks from the multiplayer beta build of the game that leaked and was accessed via jailbroken PlayStations. We saw the official gameplay reveal for Black Ops 6 Zombies, and through all of that, we learned quite a bit of things. But one thing in particular might be a bit interesting or maybe even odd to you. And today I want to take a look at it. So drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 6 coverage along with other FPS content. I'd love to have you in the community. For now though, let's take a look at what's kind of odd about what was recently revealed for Black Ops 6. So with the recent reveal earlier this week, we saw a ton of zombies content revealed to us. Of course, showcasing stuff like the new map of Terminus, the preview of Liberty Falls, something that will be showcased a little further at COD Next later at the end of the month. But amidst a myriad of different things relating to gameplay features and new content, foundational adjustments to some systems like the ability to create a save file. Amidst a ton of different details like that, there was a couple of things hidden in the mix that were confirmation of two different things. Number one, Dark Ops challenges are coming to zombies, thus inferring that Dark Ops challenges for at least Black Ops 6 multiplayer and likely, if like Cold War, Dark Ops challenges for the campaign as well. For those unaware, Dark Ops challenges are challenges that don't have any sort of mentioned criteria. You can view them, like there's a list of Dark Ops challenges that are all redacted, so it's just kind of this giant puzzle on how you figure them out, which I find incredibly fun to do with each individual Black Ops game, but that's not the main point. The second point, though, that was kind of hidden away in this was that Zombies was confirmed to share the same progression systems as Black Ops 6's multiplayer. So... Wait, that's that's kind of normal though, right? Like we're going to have all XP going towards our progress. That makes sense. That's what happened with Modern Warfare 3 zombies. That's what happened with Vanguard zombies. Why is this now odd? Well, it's not necessarily the concept of shared progression. It's just the shared system that makes it odd. What we have to remember is that for the first time since Black Ops 4, we're seeing the prestige system in its original format. We had a lackluster variation of seasonal prestige every year since Modern Warfare 2019 introduced the seasonal leveling system. So for the first time since 2018, we can finally grind out the game as fast as or as slow as we want. No more dangling the carrot of additional prestiges every two months in front of us. We can do everything all in that first couple of weeks to first month or two, or we can take the whole year plus if we want. It's really all up to the player. That in and of itself, I think is a win, a traditional prestige system, but that still may not answer why this is odd. Well, it's odd because historically, those two sentiments, shared progression and the traditional prestige system, they haven't in the most recent outings been a thing that went hand in hand. Black Ops 4 had the prestige system, but you also had the prestige system in both multiplayer and zombies prestigious, individual ranking systems that did not overlap in that sense. You had to prestige and rank up through each of those individually. Later on, it was also introduced, we saw a blackout prestige system in Black Ops 4, but that was something that was a little later on down the line. COD World War II was the same way as well, where it had prestiges in both multiplayer and zombies. Black Ops 3 had both prestiges in multiplayer and zombies. In fact, third mode prestiges go all the way back to Ghost and Extinction, where there is an entirely different total for MP prestiges versus Extinction prestiges. MP had 10 prestiges, but Extinction launched with five, by the end of the year, with the prestiges being added through each of the DLC maps, Extinction ended up having 25 prestiges that you could end up ranking up through. So, for the first time since Infinite Warfare Zombies in 2016, we have the same prestige system for both Zombies as a mode and multiplayer. The difference with that was that we ended up seeing at least 30 prestiges in Infinite Warfare versus the currently slated 10 prestiges and upwards of level 1000 for Black Ops 6. So, while it's not necessarily a big deal to some, it's an odd choice at first glance because it theoretically can cut into that progression potential. It theoretically limits what all you could do in each of those modes. If you're going to hit a hard cap with two things going into it at once, well, you of course cut down the amount of time needed to reach that max level perhaps, instead of having 10 prestiges and level 1000 for MP and 10 prestiges and level 1000 for zombies. It also theoretically on a lesser scale kind of limits the challenge sets for prestiges, like prestige challenges. You can have things like you do now that unlock progressively, but it's not as focused or geared towards zombies and MP in particular, if that's the case, where you're both funneling into one ranking system, just more of like top level things or generic challenges per se. So at first glance, this was something that was a little odd to see, especially given that we've had such historical context of having prestigious for both multiplayer and zombies 
in more games with zombies than not, or rather more games with a third game mode like that than not. So for the future, it's kind of up in the air as to if this is the final verdict of how this will work out. To me, I see three possibilities existing here that could happen. Number one, everything stays exactly the same. This is what we end up getting. You have both multiplayer and zombies progressing towards level 1000 after 10 prestiges. And that is the potentially only thing that happens. You just have one single finite leveling system that everything funnels into. Makes sense if that's the case, but it might not be what everyone wants to hear. Number two, maybe zombies prestige systems get added after the fact. I mean, Blackout ended up having that happen where it was introduced later on down the line. There was a first couple of like operations as they called the seasons back then. I think it was like one or two, maybe three seasons that we actually didn't have a prestige system. You could rank up to, I think it was level 80 and 80 star was the sort of max cap at that point, but it took a long time for that to be added in for prestigious. So maybe that happens with zombies. Or maybe number three, maybe there are more prestiges that are added throughout the year, like Infinite Warfare, perhaps 10 every two to three seasons or so. Not regularly, like every single season, because at that point, it's a seasonal introduction, but rather expansions, larger scale expansions available. Perhaps it's something like Master Prestige in Advanced Warfare, where the 10 prestiges and Master Prestige grind start all over again, and then you end up doing it again for the Master or Grand Master levels. Like once you get to level 1000, you unlock the option to enter Master or Grand Master Prestige, giving you that same one to 10 prestiges, 56 to level 1000 journey all over again, but with say like a golden or different variation of your prestige emblem. I mean, they did say, and I quote, and a classified reward for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. So while yes, it does kind of sound like as a genuinely earnable item of some kind, would it not be a massive curveball to see the first in the world unlock level 1000 and then be like, wait, we're only halfway through. So personally, while I think that a separate prestige or grandmaster prestige system would be awesome, and I'd love to see that kind of stuff, if they are truly only doing one leveling system, my only sort of long shot hope after that would be to at some point see an eventual career level as well, something that goes above level 1000 if you do put that much time into it. With the three main and very replayable modes this year in multiplayer, zombies, and warzone, I think of all the games in recent COD history, this might be the one that has the most replayability factor to it. I mean, how many people were really playing Spec Ops? How many people with a lack of support for Modern Warfare Zombies are still playing that? How many people played Vanguard Zombies? That was something that was just total Frankenstein mode that shouldn't have even existed, but they just had to put something out. So when you think of the recent offerings, this year looks to have the most replayable for every faction of player. You like multiplayer? Good. You got multiplayer and support there. You like zombies? We actually have round-based zombies again. If you like Warzone, well, you still have Warzone and a bunch of stuff with potentially Verdansk returning here later at the beginning of 2025. So with that amount of potential playtime and replayability, even if it's just a simple number next to your name or in your combat record, I think that could do well. Now, thankfully, it's just that top level that appears to be kind of oddly connected. We've already seen the confirmation from the Zombies reveal that we'll have four specific mastery camos available to earn for Zombies in particular, insinuating that we'll again have a mastery camo grind for multiplayer and Zombies as if that was really ever in question, but to have it further detailed is definitely nice to know. That means we'll, if four are handled the way that they are in the last two games, you'll have a gold level camo for completing the individual weapon, a diamond level camo for completing a classification of weapons, and a seemingly polyatomic and Orion level parody level mastery where you have a camo for completing all weapons, and then you have a challenge on top of that that once you do that, then you get your final sort of dark matter camo, which is almost a staple at this point from Black Ops 3, 4, and Cold War. So kind of feel comfortable predicting it's going to be dark matter, but either way. Now, a different story for a different day is that we might even have a Warzone set of camos to grind out this year based off of early leaked images from the UI of Black Ops 6. Normally, I'd kind of dismiss this as potentially leftover or legacy code that was as in an in-development build would have leaked but wouldn't have made it to ship. But it's interesting solely for the fact that we've never had that before to be a leftover or legacy item. Any Warzone-specific challenges would always go into that special or event category of our camos to date, so interesting for sure. But anyways, beyond that, synced progression isn't the only thing we're going to see, but it's the only thing that I think is going to be a sort of oddity. 
weapon leveling is going to be synced across everything as well, as it has been for the last as long as I can remember. Battle pass progression will also be something that is synced across multiplayer zombies and Warzone, as it has been since the introduction of the battle pass system. So that sort of stuff is the standard, but that simple funneling into one ranking system does again historically prove to be a bit odd so let me know your thoughts down below what do you guys think here of this one ranking system would you like to see two separated from multiplayer and zombies whether or not to just differentiate between the two or just to have something to grind down after you complete one or the other let me know your thoughts down below but if you guys enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing earning all things black ops 6 and a ton of other fps content we've got a really busy month upcoming here that i'd love to have you guys in the community for so if you want to stick around for any and all things black ops 6 and other fps content feel free to join the community i'd love to have you for now though thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you later take care and peace